This small gathering at the Russian embassy in Berlin is a protest against an alleged political assassination. It was held a week after the killing of Zelimkhan Khangoshvili, who fought against Russia for Chechen separatists in the 1990s and was living in Germany. An investigation is ongoing, but some here blame Moscow. Among the protesters is Raisa Tsatyeva, one of Khangoshvili's two common-law wives. The previous day, she told RFERL how a man gunned him down in broad daylight. Her account was based on an eyewitness report. The killing occurred on August the 23rd when the alleged killer rode up to the victim on a bike which he also used for his escape. An eyewitness called the police who were on the scene within minutes and arrested the suspect. The police identified the suspect as a 49-year-old Russian citizen, but have not named him. A joint report by Der Spiegel, Bellingcat Online Investigators and Russian website The Insider said the suspect used an alias, Vadim Sokolov, on a passport with a number linked to Russian security services. Russia has denied involvement in the killing. Khangoshvili was buried in his native village in Georgia's Pankizi Gorge on August the 29th. Although he was a Georgian citizen, like many in the area, he was an ethnic Chechen. He'd applied for political asylum in Germany in 2017 and was rejected weeks before he was killed. Satyeva, who had four children with him, is still pressing her asylum claim in the courts. Разыгралось не только направление, что они следуют законам, немножко и такое сочувственное отношение к человеку, да, что эта семья должна быть защищена. Germany is home to thousands of Chechens, many living in Berlin. Official figures record more than 7,000 asylum applications since 2017. But activists say many Chechens find it difficult to convince the authorities they have a genuine case for asylum. Eckhard Maas organized the protest at the Russian embassy. I have verschiedene Leute here, die sehr bedroht sind, und wir konnten diese Bedrohungslage immer nicht deutlich machen. Und erst wenn so etwas passiert, dann sieht man, es gibt ja eine Bedrohungslage. Also ich hoffe, dass sein Tod nicht umsonst war, sondern auch anderen Flüchtlingen, die bedroht sind, hier zu einem Aufenthaltsrecht verhilft. The suspected killer is now being held here. The Moabit Penitentiary is a few minutes walk from the site of the killing. The Interfax news agency reported that Russian consular officials visited the suspect on September the 2nd. German officials have said he's not cooperating with the investigation.